Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Overfall, where hopefully this time we are not going to have a 10 minute run that then immediately loses. Uh, we're picking up, of course, in the bazaar where we're just upgrading some weapons, and then we've got so much food here. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. And then I'm thinking I want to stay away from the Vorn, but I also like really need more grasslands. So let's pop up to here. Awesome. We've got a couple of, actually, the three grassland islands. Superb. Let's see what they can do for us. A small camp set up in an elevated area to allow for better defensibility. A bard greets you, playing his loot. Friend, come sit with me. I am but a humble man who seeks his destiny. I have little to trade, yet have many stories to share. He would ask to trade, ask to hear a story. Like the tent. That's really cool. The water? Wow. That's like, that's some great kind of uh, juxtaposed hand-drawn art on with uh, some computer-generated models. I actually like really like that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and ask to hear a story. He strums his loot. The tales tell two travelers jumping through the islands of time, going after the hidden one. Delinquency they find, with the warning of a mighty wizard. Okay. And another. While visiting this village, you come upon a beggar. He humbly requests a donation. Prepare some frags, sir, or food if you have any. Oh, we have so much food. Uh, we could rob him, we could leave, or let's give him a food. There aren't many people who would take notice of me. Thank you. Okay. Well, so much for uh, any increased reputation. Ah, uh, no. Come across a jester being jeered by a crowd. When in shaming, ask what the matter is. Weeping, the jester tells you that the village thinks poorly of his comedy skills. In my humor, I aim for politically conscious commentary for our modern age. But they say my jokes are old hat. Do it again. I want to see his... I want to see the little smiley face man move. I know I didn't imagine it. Tell the audience about the importance of constructive criticism. You explain to the villagers that unless they are helpful in their comments, the jester will never be able to progress as a performer. The villagers look ashamed and apologize to the jester. We'll try and be a better audience next time. Return to your ship. Oh, thank God. At least something, right? As you make ready to leave, the jester catches up with you and gives you something for your trouble. Two frags. Not everyone would stick up for a novice performer like me. Thanks a lot. I, I feel your pain, Mr. Jester Man. I feel your pain. All right. Uh, one other grassland over here. And that's forest, of course. On the island, you hear that there is a theater formed by the students of an acting class. All right, I have seen this before. Let's make some art then. The glasses. Glad we've joined. Begin your play. Oh my. Okay, uh, this is maybe not the play I was signing up for. Uh, let's see, this hollow bear can only move two. One, two. So let's not be here. Move to right there. Hmm. Toss out maybe a weakness. Okay. He's not really going to be attacking us, so maybe that doesn't matter so much. But he is at more than 50% health, so that does a little bit extra. Ooh. Plenty of buffs. Desperation. Increased heal effects and precision. Okay. Uh, I'm now going to pass out protection for both of us, which is awesome. And then a little torment for you guys. We can't hit with that, but we can hit with this. You're at 21, you're at 18. Also, our uh, icons here are a little overlaid, wouldn't you say? Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go for the striker as just... Uh, he has less HP overall. Maybe we can burn him down a little bit faster. Bear moves up two. Oh, man. That's actually a wombo combo, right? His regeneration is more effective due to his desperation. 
Now, one, two, you know what, uh, one, two, let's actually just move to right up here, and we'll mobilize these guys for this turn, and then do a little damage to him, okay, four, he's down to ten HP. Um, one, two, uh, one, two, we could go down there, we'd be super trapped though. I'll tell you what, let's come up to here, we'll still be in range, which is a little sad. And then, um, you know what, we could, uh, apply that to remove his regeneration. And he's got bone core. Oh, right, he's immobilized this turn, so he's not going to be doing anything to us. Uh, that is fair. Three damage on him. Now, let's see about getting away from these guys. You can move three, one, two, three. So, why don't you say we go all the way to the other side of the map? Toss down a weakness. Alright, and try to remove a buff from him, or I think this would probably be better. Uh, didn't get the trauma though. All right, we're still out of his range. Kiting so far, so good. We're gonna go one, two, or one, two. So if I move to the corner, I'm at least okay for one more turn. Uh, and all we've got left is our regeneration, so we might as well, in case she takes damage. All right. And let's see. Let's get to over here. To mobilize you again and then we'll deal one extra damage because you're immobilized all right he's doing a great job of uh, keeping up reduction as well as regeneration though not super stoked about that all right this guy will finally get it within range of us I'll tell you what we'll torment him I realize I'm doing like a terrible job of sort of splitting my damage here, but my kiting game has stayed pretty on point. Okay. Oh, he did not attack. Fairly interesting. Well, in that case, he's got 7 HP. Let's see if we can't burn you down. 7, huh? Okay. So, that does four. Just need three more damage. Oh, he got into range. Okay. Okay. That was quite a lot of ow. Um, let's come over here. Regenerate yourself again. Oh, no. He was disarmed me. I didn't even realize. Should clearly be paying more attention to that. We're both feared. Uh, not actually going to be all that awful for us, though. Alright, we can move three. One, two, three. Pretty much anywhere I could go, he'd be able to uh, attack. So let's teleport. Five, huh? You're going to be able to act again. So let's just immobilize him. And then we do that to remove his regeneration. It doesn't count as a buff. Okay, fair enough. Uh, stop running away. He's only got two HP left, so uh, this should do it. Assuming, of course, that this attack lands, which it does. All right. Now, you're going to go one, two, three. As long as we stay here, he won't be able to hurt us. So, you know what? Um, let's actually apply some absorption. It'll absorb that one damage that she would otherwise take from her bleeding. Nice. All right. Oh, right. Enrage increases his speed. Ow. Ow again. Okay. Well then, 
Sharon took a little more damage than I would have liked. But he's down to five. We should pretty easily be able to end this. Yeah, I can't actually do anything to him. Fair enough. The double damage only takes him to four. Are you kidding me? Or only does four, taking him down to one. Yeah, that went super well. Okay, then. Fine. Uh, bone core. And weakness. Okay. And this kills him. And I really misplayed, like, that last round or two. Your army is victorious as the bodies of your enemies lie still. The part is successfully done. Magnificent. So natural. So real. This is art. Art. Yeah, well, uh, thanks. Uh, I think we would make some great artists to frag. But his assistant notices a mere problem. Professor, they killed our students. It was uh, really real. But you told us to be natural. Natural. Get out of here before I call the Everguard. Oh my god, this old man really needs a treatment. I mean, what's so wrong with contemporary art? Well, we may have murdered some liberal arts students, uh, and nothing of value was lost. Alright then. Let's uh, move on, shall we? Hmm. Not. Oh, didn't really mean to run into you guys. What is it, big man? Let's just sail on for now. Uh, no real grasslands along the way, so let's just skirt some additional islands here. Um, yeah, we'll ask him if we can... Uh, let's get him to the Forsaken Camp. And the rest for the Exiled. Well, apparently there was a reason he was not around. Right, the Scryer is likely ranged. The Reaver, I mean, he also has some arrows sticking out back here. May very well be ranged himself. Hmm. All right, tell you what. Move down to here. Um, let's just do weakness at first. Okay, I can dig it. And does he have range attacks? No, no, it is not. Only the one protection, though. Hmm. Alright, tell you what, we'll torment and confuse. I would love to confuse. Confuse, yay. What about the Scryer? She looks uh, like somebody who would do ranged attacks. Oh yeah, ranged and AoE. I don't love uh, retaliation, so let's see if we can't maybe dispel one of these buffs. No, retaliation's still there. This also might. We might also take some damage from this, though. We did not. Okay. Managed to dispel the retaliation before the damage went through, so uh, that's at least something. I have her move out front, regenerate herself, and hit him with a wave of light. Okay. Down to five, and we will get to act before him. So I would see him going, ugh, going away. Uh, we'll go to here. We will, I guess, just hit both of them with weakness. I think the weakness will stay even with an enrage. And I need that. Ooh, they stop us. The Elder Forsaken interferes as he gives his last breath. This land turned you into the others, I see. They mean nothing but help. Turned you into the others? Huh. Let me give my last breath in peace. Into the others. What did... I don't... Is that a... I don't know if that's a typo or if, like, there's something deeper going on with what the Forsaken are. We just wanted to carry him to his kind before he died. They stop and apologize as you prepare to take your leave. You have helped one of us, and this will be remembered. All right. At least we got some reputation. Not the uh, reputation we're necessarily looking for, but it is something. So again, we'll just bounce up some islands to not waste too much time sailing around. Um, I do not really care to participate in the arena while I only have two party members, though. So... Let's check out the Forsaken Island. 
I sense you have a place at your heart, a place far away. Help me to find mine. Okay. Uh, we will help him. All right, right. We go through a portal. Yeah, sometimes there's lots of bad things. Could we fight four trolls? I don't think we can. Like, there's got to be another way to do that. Ugh. Like a, a skill that we're missing or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we do at least have ooh, at least a couple of grasslands up here. Let's bounce off this forest really quick. Um, yep, yeah, uh, old man. We can attempt to heal him. It works. He stretches his legs and arches his back. Congratulations on your good health. They give us a little dust. Awesome. All right, and some more hollow settlements. Or not. Not far from the shore, you encounter a crusty old fisherman carrying the day's catch home. He stops to chat for a while, and soon the talk turns to the subject of the local seafood. Oh man, I love sushi. Like, let's let's hope we somehow find a source of sushi. Used to be, our fish had holes in their eyes like everything else. Now they got these X-shaped thingamabobs. It sends a chill down the spine, I tell ya. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Investigate the water or bless the fish. Let's investigate the water for some uh, impurities. Examining the water, you find it's chock full of disease and toxins. Wouldn't have anything to do with the village's latrine being upstream, would it? Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it would. There's nowhere else to fish, though. Oh well, thanks for the advice. Here's some frags to help you on your way. Okay. Well, that's something, at least on an expedition to uncharted waters. You don't say. Uh, you come across a few Everguards while wandering on the island. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then he replies back. Then I got this high paying job with a lot of side benefits. Well, we love high paying jobs. And you guys look very not ranged. Oh, you do a bone core and crippled. Ugh. Not loving that at all. Double stack of bone core. Ew. I'll tell you what, let's skip movement and then just immobilize both of you. We take two damage for our trouble, but uh, then we can throw out something like this. We did eight damage to uh, take four. I'm, I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that anyway. Let's move up to here and. Hmm. You know what? Um, let's just regenerate. We'll take two damage for it, but uh, heal it back. And then, similarly, we can Holy Nova to regenerate two for both of us. And take one back. Okay. You guys both turned on retaliation. In that case, this seems like a good turn to not try hitting you. One, two, three. Uh, so, our wizard is fine. Let's apply some Absorb. And then I'm going to skip my attack phase. She's going to run away all fearful-like. Two, three. One, two, three. Mm. Well, uh, that fearful trait, man. All right. So as a reminder, occasionally our uh, cleric just becomes fearful. 15% chance at the beginning of each turn. Um, that's not really great for obvious reasons. But if it's 16, let's hit the closer one then. Nice. We also got confusion on him. And the Tormented does a pretty decent number on the guy as he runs towards us. Ugh. Yeah, that stung. That stung quite a bit. Alright, I tell you what. Uh, we're just going to kind of move into the way. Mobilize both of these guys. And then chain lightning between them. And then our cleric is going to try to get out of here. Ugh, numbing light in the generation. And that apparently doesn't have the range. Okay, then. These guys are both immobilized, so at least they'll stay put. Oh, apparently casting some one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, casting some 
fairly lovely... Oh, man. One, two, three... I don't think he can get out of their way, actually. Um, casting some fairly nasty retaliate, so we're just going to kind of stay away from them from now. Oh, of course. Uh, that 15% uh, chance is rearing its ugly head a little bit more often than I would like. At least Bone Bore and Weakness will do something to him. And then she can regenerate herself for couple of HP. Stops the bleed at least. Ah, great. More bone core and crippled. Five and nine. Uh, I would say this is going to be a turn we need to really make count. Five. As long as they're immobilized, I might as well be doing that though. Oh, the critical hit. Oh, it's so good. Okay, uh, we'll move right up to here then. Skip our utility phase and hit him with a wave of light. All right. Ooh. For food and Donovan gains lame. Decreases speed by one <sighs> while below 50% HP. He defeat the lame guards. Of course. Of course he did. Just leave. I, I swear, I've gotten the rawest of deals when it comes to the traits that I've been gaining after combat in this run. It's just been absolutely staggering. Uh, I don't know that I have anything positive to show for my experiences yet. Uh, also, really love to find some grassland. You know what, also... Both the Forsaken and the uh, uh, Hollow has gotten quite high. Old man appears to be behaving erratically. Get away from me, you gold dang specters. I ain't one of you. Get. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try to calm him down or try to sense if the man is seeing something in the spirit realm. You cannot sense any spirits of the light present, but a small tickling sensation tells you there might be something from the shadow realm tormenting him. Uh, and that's all we can do. Okay. Let's try the hollows then. Oh, this is something. Okay. Um, we are going to let the hollows punish him. Gain plus one reputation for our trouble, and not quite. Hmm. Oh, never mind. We got just enough. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, let's let these guys get out of the way, and then... The ship gets here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we are indeed looking to recruit. And we've unlocked the Ice Maiden and the Executioner. Now, I'm liking our super kiting thing that we're doing right now. I don't know if we want to balance that with a melee character or like double down on more range. I think I'm going to try doubling down, and uh, maybe we'll grab the Executioner as our next companion. Uh, assuming, of course, that we get to a next companion. Alright, the Ice Maiden is back in this direction. Okay, the Ice Maiden is on a volcanic island. She is not a very well-named Ice Maiden. Exploring the island, you find the Ice Maiden. Guess who just saved an entire village from burning to the ground? This lady. What say we travel together for a while? Join the party. I remember you. You helped me get in touch with my emotions that one time. Yeah, let's join up. Okay. Well, that is certainly some good news. Now, I'm an in. Um, tell you what. We really don't need, like, multiple factions to be helpful. Um... We can make fire with this guy. We don't have hatred of trolls. Teach him. Return. Okay. Um, so we really don't need to be, like, splitting our reputation. At least not as far as I understand it. Oh, I also did not mean to uh, bounce off of that. Um, let's ask him about his catch again. Gives us an implausible story. And we'll set sail as we need no food. Okay, let's try 
No, get, a, get away from me. All right. I swear, the goblins just keep running into my ship. Uh, some humans come seeking aid as you land on the island. They want their kids to be able to go swimming. Okay, we'll go to the beach. And... They can come back when the humans are gone. We gain some reputation. We go back to the humans. We tell them. They give us frag and food. We cross our fingers. That maybe? Like, I can't, I can't tell if that's hit it yet. Hmm. Um, this is Forsaken Land. Okay. Let's see... I actually don't even know if I've spotted where the hollows, like, are. This is obviously Goblin Homeland. That's Forsaken Homeland. Hmm. Have I ever seen ugh, the hollows Homeland? I may not have. Well, at least we're uh, making it back over. Obviously, the buoys do eventually clear. Um, so there is no running out of islands or anything. Uh, it's the smelly pig problem. Prepare a perfume to cover the stench. Awesome. We gain plus one reputation. All right, if we weren't there before, I'd say we certainly are now. Yeah, and we just gained the quest. Okay, that... That was it. We needed one more, and it looks like they're to our south. So, this marked island is within hollow territory. Feel free to visit whenever you're ready. Thank them for their assistance, and sail on. Okay. We have now made it past the one reputation required to uh, start directly taking quests for the hollows, which I'm pretty excited about. We now just kind of need to mainline their quest in order to get it past three, I believe, is our next goal. Uh, mostly based on some of the requirements I've seen within the story builder. Uh, there are some lovely Vorn down here. How many days away was this? Jeez. Uh, this would also be like an excellent time if I was to spot an altar. I would super consider getting some of those buffs. All right, and here is the Hollow Homeland. You arrived at the Hollow Homeland and cross paths with an owl hollow. Friends are hard to come by, especially from my ken. You have proven yourself a capable ally, and I wish to aid you on your journey any way I can. What do you need? Frags, dust, food. We don't really need anything. As you wish. Okay. Well, I was hoping that there might be a thing that would happen when we did it that way, but... Apparently not. Alright, conquering the enemy. Uh, so let's do this. I believe we should now... Uh, how can we help you? Sail on. Okay, well that's super helpful. Um, this island? Yeah, there we go. A group of distressed hollows greet you. The elves have surrounded this place and all our warriors are elsewhere. We need your help, human. Agree to help them. Bah! <laughs> I love those guys. We know we could count on you. Let's go hide somewhere. Prepare, prepare for battle. An arrow lands on the lands on the land right next to you. The elves are here. Protecting these beasts, you will learn your place. Femher? Femher? I totally resemble that remark. Okay, the silencer moves three. The soul binder also moves three. And I'm assuming is melee. All right, so let's move down here, I'm thinking, and focus on this lady. So you go three normally. One, two, three. So let's go to right here. And since I have gotten him kind of out in front, we're going to uh, absorb... And then Thunderbolt makes a very lovely starting attack. All right. Fair enough. Just going in the middle. Concentration also casts Absorb. And my Absorb at least takes that. Now, what does the Ice Maiden do? Okay. Pushes adjacent foes three hexes. Applies vulnerable 50% of the time. And immobilized. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, kind of a different take on fear, effectively. Like, it pushes them back. But I'm assuming it's all adjacent. Um, so if she was to be surrounded by melee, of course, with only 16, if she is surrounded by melee characters, things have probably gone horribly wrong. Um, then she gets Antifreeze, applies stability, Aegis, removes one debuff. Brain Freeze applies Dazed, Blind, removes one buff. Cold Wind applies Might and Haste. Frostbite deals four damage, applies Weakness and Agony. Deep Freeze, three, applies Bone Pour, has plus two damage if target has Immobilized. These are all target only, target only, and this is adjacent. Blizzard, three damage, applies Chill. Okay. So to start, she's got about a range of five. One, two, three, so pretty much anywhere. Um, I'll tell you what, let's get to right here, say. And then try to remove, yes, and blind on a ranged attacker means she has to be right next to us, which is also super good. And weakness is fine. Would have liked agony, but didn't get it. Really, she has she has that kind of range, huh? Okay, fair enough. Got a cleric to right here, and I'm thinking about agony. I'm also considering the ice maiden has 12 HP. Let's maybe get some regen on her instead, and hit the trancer. Nice. She is now skipping lots of things and is down to 7 HP. Uh, that's retaliation, isn't it? Oh, you are not at all a melee attacker. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. That's also unfortunate. We lost out on the, uh, the thing that could apply immobilized, which we really needed because we were confused. Remove a buff. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Runs right up, hits with blind, hits with bone core. Well, got adjacent to us. That's at least something. Um, will any Aegis remove a debuff? Sure. Uh, I mean, we're disarmed, so yes. Thank you. Uh, she's down to 3 HP. She is also immobilized, but we don't even really need the bonus damage. Eight. Okay. Silencer does something. Okay. Faithful pull. Nice. Let's then throw out a torment. So if you guys want to move around, it's uh, at least going to be painful for them. And a little bit of a heal there. Yeah. Ooh, miss. Okay. Um. I don't really want to bunch up for the sake of any AoEs, so I'm actually going to move back to here and then try to immobilize. Try to do bonus damage on immobilized. And then we're going to likewise do some things with our Ice Maiden here. Um, might and Haste. Might do it to herself. Damage for 50% second around, double speed second around. Okay. Oh, I already used my uh, thing that is better on immobilized. Of course I did. All right, that got it down to eight. That's not terrible. Yeah, you torment. Why don't you? Fusion, bone core. Okay. Uh, we'll move to here. And eight. I won't be able to kill, and you're going next, but you're immobilized. Uh, so I tell you what, let's apply the weakness to you as you are likely to get uh, some additional attacks out. You'll get one more turn where hopefully you do very, very little with your immobilized self, and then it is now Donovan's turn to go. Awesome. Just need to do four damage to you. Uh, so I'm actually going to absorb an Aegis because I should be able to do four damage relatively easily. Indeed I can. Now, let's 
the Ice Maiden's turn. She's going to go next. One, two, three, four, five. We are within range for everything, though. Uh, let's have to skip that. Um, she's not immobilized. We might be able to apply chilled. That's three. That is three. Yeah. We're not going to be able to immobilize her anymore due to the enrage anyway. We'll just start doing the good old-fashioned damage. Fear. Okay. Silencer doesn't uh, doesn't have much in the way of direct damage, it would seem. So, uh, not maybe the worst thing in the world. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to move one. Apply regeneration to herself. And then we'll throw out a wave here. Okay, down to five. Um, teleport to here. Should be able to uh, pretty easily take care of her, I would say. Again, can't hit her with a mobilized rage, so we'll just do that instead. Um, and it just doesn't even matter. It does four, of course. Of course it does four. Thankfully, well maybe. Do you have the range for this? I'm about to find out, right? Might in haste. And can you do one damage? You can. Ooh, you defeated the elves and saved the Hollow Settlement. Seven frag and two reputation. What a fight. It was a pleasure watching their pretty faces get smashed. Leave and set sail. All right, then. That actually went fairly well. Uh, we did lose a bit of health. And I'm not 100% sold on the Ice Maiden. Like, mostly uh, just due to... Her max HP being 16, like, that's real low, right? Like, real, real low. All right, Hall Hollows ask you to kill the troll living very close to their village. Agree to help. This is also interesting because um, we're mostly going to be running into quests that I've never seen before that have the uh, the minimum hollow requirement, and I've never done quests for them. Your days are over, foul troll. Okay. He wishes to explain himself. He says, he says something to say. He has something to say. All right, we'll give him a chance. He says he won't harm the Hollows. He is much civilized than others of his kind. He simply wants to coexist with them. Let him be. Tell him to leave. Convince him to find another place far from the Hollows. He agrees and leaves. We return. We scared off the troll. They're not convinced. Tell him we won't cause any problems. And they trust our word. Okay. Hollow reputation plus one. I was about to say... He's gone. What do you care if he's dead or just run away? Either way, no more troll problems, right? While wandering on this island, you realize that the time goes real slow here. So we have seen this one before. Is there a mage academy around here? It seems like there is. She proudly answers, yes. Are you into the ways of Arcane too? Would you like to meet my friends? I surely would. You arrive at a camp. You're toying with time. You should stop that. Okay. We, we've mostly seen the rest of this. They want more time in their day. Talk to the people and find a better way. They'll just think I'm lazy. Um, yeah. You gotta, you gotta figure it out, man. Oh, come on. Come on. Fine. We'll stop them by force. Uh, it just had to come to this, didn't it? All right, I'm going to put our wizard friend out front, let him cast Absorb on himself, and then hit the Soul Binder. Oh, with the greatest attack of all time. Okay, uh, that was pretty smooth, not going to lie. One, two, three, four. We'll put it right here. And one up, Might and Haste. And bye-bye, Soul Binder. Oh, that was that feels so good, so very good. Ooh, that didn't feel very good. Probably should watch those AOE formations, huh? Confusion. Yeah, yeah. Probably should definitely be watching those formations. Okay. Well then, uh, throw down generation or do more damage. Let's uh, let's go for the damage now. 
fought the silencer alone, and she's really not that dangerous. Um, so I'm kind of okay with uh, leaving her as last alive. Um, I guess we'll we'll move a little bit, and then maybe weaken both of them for the counterattack that we are likely to be taking here. And uh, then we'll lightning orb. Okay then. At least the reduction stopped the agony. I'm pretty okay with that. Um, now I'm going to move her to right here. Blizzard. At least they also did not learn lessons about grouping up. So that's something. Ugh. Yeah, Silencer throws out fear and does, like, one damage most of the time. Um, as far as things go, that's not so bad. All right, we'll move up a little bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to torment you. And then I'm going to heal us. Oh, she's got the reduced healing going on. Okay. Fair enough. Tell you what. Don't go anywhere. I'm mostly just doing that for the bonus damage. Gets her down to one. And Tormented uh, will not really do much of anything for her. Um, move the character to here. Move one debuff. Nice. That's at least something. And not in range to do my bonus damage if immobilized, so that's fine. Okay. Well, she did manage to uh, heal herself. What do you got, folks? A little bit of agony. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I'm thinking. You're down to 5 HP, which kind of concerns me. Range of 4. Two, three, four, uh, which actually means we could get like, right up in her face and still do this. Hit her with that, maybe limit her utility phase with confusion while we're at it. And with only one HP, uh, that won't really do anything. Let's cast that there. And good night. Okay. She gets enraged, so she's now, like, super speedy. Mm. Oh, that was really kind of silly. I should not have done that. Um, what here with this? Does it do anything on somebody enraged? It does not. Didn't really expect it to. That does, though. Okay, they are defeated. Everything starts to go back to normal. Things will be hard to adjust for the residents for a while, but they will be okay. Probably. Poor dust. All right, we need to heal again. Definitely thinking like a an altar for some protection on the Ice Maiden might be uh, certainly warranted. Um, but we are, at the very least, able to mainline our Hollow Quest now. You were hailed by the captain of the Hollow Patrol. We would greatly appreciate your help on a problem, friend. Continue. We've received intelligence indicating that a wanted orcish criminal is currently sailing our seas. We have no troops available for this emergency, so your duty is to see this through by your own methods. Accept the quest. He nods and gives us helping hollow soldiers. I've marked his whereabouts now. Get going. And uh, we have a quest to sail about half a day south. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here as we dodge around so many ships. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe. More videos on the channel every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of the other videos. And I will catch you guys next time.